back at Richmond. The Chevy Rock and Roll 400, a caution for debris, has brought Kevin Harvick another chance at Ryan Newman's back bumper. And we're, Ryan Newman last time spun those rear tires on the restart. We were just talking about it. Your best opportunity is going to be do it on the restart. Dave. We're going to see what kind of a car Kevin has. He radioed into his crew. It feels like I've got a flat tire going down right front. They said, uh, clean up those tires real well. So we're not sure. Matt? Dave, we've had a number of caution flag laps, but Ryan Newman just heard from his chief, Matt Borland. Conserve fuel. They are still very close on the edge. Yeah, well, right. yeah you're not going to conserve fuel with 10 to go. And, and the thing that Kevin has to do, we talked about the focus and all this stuff, you have to break Newman's rhythm. You gotta stick that nose in there and take his racetrack away if he's gonna have a shot of trying to pass that 12 car. Or we might see something like last night. Remember or last night? Yeah. yeah. Maybe his teammate Johnny Sauter taught him something last night. A little fender contact and excuse me, I'm coming through. All right, let's see, this time Newman, he's trying to get the car straighter. Nine laps to go. Good and restart. And you notice it had no lap cars on the inside, less than 10 laps to go under the NASCAR rules. They have to start in a single line. This may get rough. Here we go for the lead. Harvick, he slid it again off two. And meanwhile, Jeremy Mayfield back there giving Ricky Rudd all he wants for that third spot. And boy, you can tell Newman is, I mean, Harvick is driving that car in hard, trying to get to the bumper of the 12 car, but he pays for it. Getting uh -oh. on Kenny Wallace taking the high side, and the caution flag is out. Kevin Harvick's not going to finish second tonight. Mm. He sure tried. Yep. We showed you Ricky Rudd and Kevin Harvick a couple of years ago when Rudd was driving the 28 car. Well, looked like that was Harvick and Rudd again here at Richmond. Did he get into him? That's what I want to see here. Yep, he yeah. sure did. Yep. And boy, we talk about this all the time, Benny. When you get hit going into a corner, you don't save that race car. Nothing you can do except that. Yeah. Back it in the fence. So add Kevin Harvick to the angry drivers list. Yeah, here we go. Here we see the right there, the contact. Hmm. And look at Jeremy Mayfield. Maybe he'll pick up two spots right on that to second. I tell you what. New player. Hey, new player in town. Yes. This would be the 14th caution flag of the night. Inside, inside. He spun up. Cost is out. He spun up. Kenny Wallace squeezing through. So Harvard gone pit road with his damaged car. We talked about he and Ricky Rudd tangling racing for the win here. This race, 2001. Harvick gets a hold of Rudd. Watch that save. That was one of the best saves I've ever seen. So Rudd gets it gathered up. A few laps later, gets back to Harvick. And it was payback time. And Rudd goes on to the victory. Dave? BP, they stopped. They did pull out some damage, put on two left side tires, and Kevin indicated over the radio that he might like to buy uh, Mr. Rudd a cup of coffee when this is all over. Yeah, that's not exactly what he said. Yeah, I understand. We understand. Is that with sugar? Or without? One to go here. And he's still, what, he's in 16th now? Restart will be with four laps to go. And this now Jeremy get Mayfield has his crack at Ryan Newman. Mm -hmm. Mayfield been struggling and chipping away and chipping away at getting up front all night. And he gets a caution and gets through the second. And he, you got to do it. Now, yeah. I mean, you know what I mean? You can't wait. Get settled in. You've got four laps. Did you see Ryan Newman the last time restart a little bit lower since he didn't have those lap cars down to try to drive straight toward the start-finish line and not spin those rear tires? It looked like it worked. Got to be careful, BP, because he was a little...